I'm with uh, Paul Macy in Thornton Heath at a terrific celebration day about the work that's been going on here for the last uh, few months. And Paul has been working one day a week, I think, with local residents. Tell me the story of what's been happening, Paul. Well, what we've been doing is, is working uh, with local people, connectors, and developing initiatives um, through their, the way in which they live their life in the area. So. What we've done over the last few months, we've had events at the Thornton Heath Festival where we've captured from people the kind of skills they have and the interest that they have in other people in the area and what they want to put back into the area. And here you see some of the examples of that. These were picked up at the Thornton Heath Festival in September. And what we've done is, if I could just move you on to the next one, is asking people what they're already involved in. What we've found is there's a whole range of uh, activity and skills that people have and are involved in. And the idea of the last few months is start to bring people together to develop initiatives. So, for example, a number of people have come together um, around the issue around diabetes and are starting to put information together, targeting people in the area around exercise, healthy eating and healthy living. So we, we, the, the whole purpose of the, of the, of the project is, is that we have skills and assets within our community we need to communicate and share them with each other and find ways of developing those and bringing more people in. In order that, we feel more positive and more able to contribute to the betterment of our area. And here's some other examples of some of the associations uh, and organisations that exist. One of the things that have come up is a lot of people aren't aware of the range of things that are on offer, uh, either at a very localised level or indeed on, on a borough-wide level. So part of this has been about sharing that and, and, and making sure people are communicating with each other about what is available in their area. And we've developed over here to, to our right with a colleague looking. We, we've got one final map over here, I think. Can we walk through to that one? And this one, can I just squeeze past here? Sorry. Whoops. And this map, I think, is asking people whether they're prepared to get involved in where they live. Yeah. What happened with that? So, th so this is really is getting individuals to identify where they are, the kind of projects that they know exist. And as you can see the pictures here, this is our, us at the Thornton Heath Festival, talking to local businesses, local people, uh, and local services about what is in existence and the kind of things that they know of in the area and what they may be interested in getting involved in. So this gentleman here who, who runs a business in the area is interested in offering work experience at the local schools. And so it's about being connecting, saying, well, I'm here in the high street. Who do I need to talk to? How can I connect that up and offer opportunities to young people in the area? And can you introduce me to a couple of connectors? Yep, I've spoken to Patrick. Who else can we uh, have a word with? We're having a great lunch here, and uh, earlier on, uh, Cormac said, uh, why have a meeting when you can have a party? And it's very much a, a party uh, atmosphere here. Hi, Shirley. Sorry to come in and interrupt your lunch. Can you tell me a bit about what it's like being a connector? I suspect you've been doing this for a few years anyway. Oh, sorry, sorry. Before you Oh, right. I was saying, uh, I've just been talking to Paul about the programme here and the way in which connectors have been working and how they started to connect people up from the festival. Um, and I suspect that you're a natural connector anyway and have been doing this for quite a few years. But what's been different about the last couple of months? The difference, well, I've been trying my best to help other people myself personally. I goes around and help people and connect with other people. As far as I'm concerned, it's in the community is very important. It doesn't matter where I go, I always like to connect. It's important for people to know where you are, who you are, around the areas. So then, then people look after each other, put it this way. So yes, and connecting again is having to know you can go around and knock on the door and speak to people that has not been out at all. And they're just in the house and watching TV or doing something with their hands. And they're just there. And I like to go in and sort of cheer them up. Things like that I like to do. And for connecting. And also young people. It's very important for young people to understand and know what's going on also in the community and help them to develop also. I worked a lot with young people beforehand. And I find them that sometimes they're spoiled, 
Sometimes they can be naughty, but then it's up to you, the person, the individual, to sort of talk to them in the manner that they want to hear, not just go talking to them in a manner that they don't, it's not their language. They have their own language, and you have to deal with that until they get out of it. So yes, I, I like to work with young people also. I think it's a brilliant way. Working in Thornton Eve and Croydon, is, to me, is a great experience to be here. All right.